It's Naeem. Now today is day 9. How are you guys doing? And we, I just watched The Witcher, the first episode. I've already watched both series, but I'm re-watching it with my bro. Because we got a new TV and we thought, hey, why not make use of it by playing FIFA, obviously. And by watching... We're trying to find things to watch, but it can be difficult. Day 9. What is the role of most news media in shaping our beliefs of this for this world? Is it a message of love or one of fear they share? Reflect on that answer. Well, on the one hand, it's media is is a business model. It's the whatever people want to click on, um, whatever gets the most views, whatever is most sensational. And it's part of, I wouldn't say human nature, but sometimes we do like the the extreme. I think the media sort of takes that and exploits it, basically. But then again, it's also a form of knowledge, a form of being able to get in, like, we rely on journalism and the media, both in print and digital, to learn what other people are saying, what prime ministers or presidents are saying, what, you know, so we rely on that to some extent about, um, about our beliefs and it, it shapes, it definitely shapes who you are and where your beliefs come from because if you get your news from left-wing sources, you're going to be more predominantly left-wing in your worldview. And likewise for right-wing uh, views. Um, and I don't necessarily agree of this middle ground of like, okay, let me get left-wing, let me get right-wing and sort of mix it together. Because um, like in some instances, that's fine. But in some cases, it's not because like there's a truth of the matter. It's either X or not X. It's either Y or X or Y or whatever. Um, and like getting a different opinion for something that ought to be a fact, demonstrable, whatever side you are on, that like that makes sense to me. So um, it it yeah, it plays a huge role. And um, I have to keep reading uh, most in most news uh, shaping of this of this for this world. Yeah, I mean. Sometimes we base it on our moral beliefs as well. I mean, if you happen to be brought up religiously or some, or have a code of ethic that you live by, I mean, you might have certain principles that you stick with no matter what. You might have, you know, the idea of government supposed to not infringe on certain inalienable rights as man or woman, um, which kind of could influence your views on the vaccine, for example. Not to say that if you have religious views you're against a uh, vaccine. I mean, atheists or religious alike can have anti-vax views. But um, yeah, that's just an example. It definitely shapes who we are as people. But I, I wouldn't say it's the sole determin determiner because there are the prerequisite for, you know, deciphering what is legitimate news and what is not is the idea of critical thinking and like sort of the the epistemology behind it how can we fact check this how can we know that this is reliable and this isn't um not to say that i'm perfect and i do want to learn more about like statistics and how to analyze scientific studies because it's easy to read scientific articles but the thing is you're relying on writers and i'm I happen to be a content and copywriter to sort of translate the papers and you know writers are good at writing they're not necessarily great at passing scientific texts so i do want to get better at understanding data and statistics and like how i can sort of because when you're reading a scientific paper and i want to i try to to you know it's no good being a philosopher who's just void of empirical data I need, you know, I enjoy philosophy and abstract thought, but I want to combine that with real world empirical data such that I can sort of, I have the gun, but I need to, I can use ammo. I, I'm, I'm not sure why I'm using violent analogies there, but yeah, so I, you know, 
it, it's better to understand because numbers people say numbers are numbers numbers can't lie but the thing is like statistics requires interpretation there's a there's a set of data you can have and i mean people can make unwarranted conclusions from that data set um i don't yeah uh, i'm waffling but yeah that's something i want to do to to fact check my own fact checking abilities and stuff like that um but it's a long way to go um yeah if you enjoy me and my personality and introduce me to new concepts and videos or even new reactions i might do reactions like comment share subscribe and peace